Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog channel. As you can see, I am in school and I have a free lesson. I have nothing to do and I am super bored. So, I'm gonna be speaking to you guys about something that I haven't spoken about in ages. Um, movies! Yeah, basically I was in media and we we're learning about the trailer Chimera. Yeah, we have to analyze the trailer, the movie, the posts and magazines and just how they all link together. So yeah, I'm going to be talking about it and I have my notes because we had to research about it. So yeah, don't worry, I am prepared. Anyways, let's talk about the first poster. Um, the most prominent thing I see in the poster is obviously it is in black and white. And if, to be honest, if any of you have seen the trailer, I think you would realize that this is because... Francesca! Hi! How convenient. Okay. Can you help me for my vlog channel? Yeah. Okay. So, let's go. Okay. So, to be honest, if you have seen the trailer, I think you would realize that the most... That this is because it shows the difference between her genuine personality and the facade that she puts on. You know, the darker side of her is obviously in black and the innocent and pure side is in white. And I think this is really cool because it links to the trailer where, you know, there was one part where she was in a dress and she was laughing slash smiling. And then it cuts to the part where she's wearing darker clothes and she has like a candle and she just looked really creepy. So I think that's really cool. Anyways, um, it's a really cool way to like attract people who are into psychological thrillers like me. I love it. But anyway, let's talk about the positioning. The protagonist is right in the middle, which obviously shows her importance in the film. And um, this is really, this is like really obvious because she's literally in the, in the center of the picture and staring, that's it, with no expressions. And um, I think this is like the really, the most important part of this poster because there are like different forms of her face on each side. And each of the pictures have like a different expression. One of them, she's crying. One of them, she's... I don't know, it looks like she's choking herself. And another one where she's like screaming. And this shows her schizophrenic components. If you've seen the trailer, it links because, um, yeah, she, I think she has schizophrenia. But anyways, um, if you've seen the poster of Split, if you haven't, it will be right here. But if you have, I think they probably took inspiration from it because the man is like straight and then he has like five shadows of his. And I think that's really cool because it shows that he has multiple personalities. It is a disorder and so does Veronica in the trailer. Like she shows one side of her personality to Jeremy, another part, which is her boyfriend, another personality to her therapist, another one she's alone. So it's really cool, you know. And because of this, I think the target audience is mainly young adults. You know, the protagonist herself is supposed to be in school. And also, it really, I think it attracts women because the protagonist is a female and usually women like where the basketball court by the way <laughs> i don't know how we came here anyways and usually women like psychological thrillers i don't know why but anyways um leave a message down in the comment section and tell me which genre you like and what your gender is okay let's talk about expressions the most important thing an actor should know um can you go ahead all right God, sorry. <laughs> the most important thing an actor should know is how to convey their emotions through their expressions i think yuda lama probably the best actor in the history of filmmaking say this without a bias bone in my body obviously did a very good job with conveying her emotions through you know her expressions the centermost picture of you then was just staring at the picture but all the other pictures you know she was screaming and crying and I don't know what she was doing and this probably intrigued them the audience enough <laughs> to want to watch the movie and find out the real story you know um, at least it did for me like that's one of the main reasons why I want to watch the movie okay what are the other things that we can see in this poster? The glass, right at the bottom of the picture. Um, well, there's broken glass at, in each um, of their promotional packages. Don't know if you guys have noticed. But I think it's really good that they're keeping, that they're being really consistent about it. <coughs> um, this is obviously open to interpretation, but as far as I, what I think, it, <laughs> hello. I think it um, shows her personality that she's actually broken inside. And yeah, stop looking at me. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the lines. Um, sometimes a lie is more painful than the truth. Bit dramatic, but I like it. <laughs> I'm guessing they wrote this because of their trailer. I mean, the trailer really confused me. I mean, in some parts, like she was lying, maybe because her life was just so bad. I don't know, maybe she was kind of deluded. I, I just don't know what's going on, but it was really nice to be kind of confused. 
um, this would hopefully intrigue the audience since they would want to know what was the lie that was so bad that she that it led to self-destruction you know I mean at least that's my psychoanalysis <laughs> um, okay let's move on to the second poster which is right here um, let's talk about the color why do you think they use black and dark blue as the background personally I think maybe they did not want it to be completely black since um, they did not want it to be too dark and reveal how twisted she is so you know she did have good in her before she completely self-destructed and that's where the blue comes in let's talk about the message this poster sends a very clear message I mean she is looking at a mirror but the reflection is showing something else and we see hands on her neck and her face as though someone is kind of repressing her as though she's repressing herself from being who she really is this could link to the trailer since we see that Jeremy was really abusive towards the end for all we know Jeremy is kind of you know not allowing her to be who she really is um, this was an, an interesting idea since the audience would understand that she's in what she seems to be and they would be curious enough to want to watch the movie and find out the real story she obviously wasn't it was obvious that she wasn't who she is don't know if that makes sense but anyways let's talk about the tagline uh, this is the back of my school as you can see scan okay <laughs> tagline you know what else um, oh it says she wore a thousand faces only to hide her own this is pretty straightforward I mean she shows all her faces slash personalities but did not show the one that was genuine or the one that was real um, this tagline this this tagline is accurate to the trailer as well because um, she tells the therapist that she's tranquil and she's happy but then you see her in the bathroom store stall banging herself like banging her head to the wall and I don't know she's just it doesn't make sense because she says one thing but she does the complete opposite and um, you know she shows one side of her personality to the therapist to Jeremy and it just complete lies so yeah it's pretty straightforward and it kind of links to the trailer let's talk about the glass um, of course there's some form of glass in every poster we spoke about that there seems to be a pattern the crack on the mirror shows her reflection and it also it could show that her personality is kind of broken um, it could also mean that even though a mirror shows a reflection in this case she could switch her personality and you wouldn't know what personality is looking back at you like who's actually there if you know what I mean um, <laughs> this could fascinate the audience like it fascinated me okay we can also see um, the genre through the poster it is for sure psychological thriller okay if any of you think it's comedy get out of here <laughs> um, I mean, we, um, we can see that her reflection is different than what she looks like so it can mean she has a split personality and you know usually when you have a disorder like that it is psychological thriller let's go upstairs I'll show you my maths department <laughs> okay let's talk about the second the first magazine uh, as for expression Yudan has no expressions at all she was looking straight into the camera like she usually does her hair was floating in the bathtub and away from her face she is wearing a top that she wore in her trailers as well and her arms and her neck were completely bare this is weird because usually in the trailer it looked like she was a closed book and you know she was oh she always had secrets that were hidden so this could tease the trailer tease the audience to find out more about the trailer um, and there's also a part in the trailer where she is running straight into the camera it reminded me this poster reminded me of that because you know she's wearing the same clothes like black and it's weird because same she's a hidden book but then again she was completely bare in the cold weather running that's something normal people don't do and another scene that reminds me of this trailer and this magazine is where she submerges herself into the water for no apparent reason again something that normal quotation mark people don't do anyways the most prominent thing I see when I look at the poster is glass obviously the picture was shot in a bathtub I'm guessing and I guess they tried to make the water look like cracked glass pretty isn't it <laughs> I guess they tried to make the water look like cracked glass her face was the only thing that was above the water I guess you could um, interpret this as like sh the water is consuming her I don't know um, even in the trailer there are many scenes where there's glass for example where she breaks the alcohol bottle 
or when she's in the when she's in the bathtub and she drops the wine glass all of these could all of these linked to the magazines and posters because you know they're trying to use glass components in their promotional packages and um, yeah let's talk about the text let's sit down first um, I like I mean this is one of the reasons I wanted to buy the bag magazine but I didn't I'll tell you why um, okay so the first line that I read was 2018 the year of super and anti-heroes Okay, this for sure made me want to buy the magazine. I am a huge superhero fan and I'm sure all of you are out there are. Because there are so many superheroes, so many villains. Like, the fan base is huge and I'm sure most of them would want to buy the magazine because of this reason. Um, yeah, at least. And to be honest, I'm guessing most of the people who bought it were boys. Because um, this is really, this is a shame because I've always wanted the gender roles to reverse. But oh well. At least we can see that in this way even men can watch Chimera, right? And obviously women too. I mean, at the left-hand side, it says um, Anna and Christian are back on the big screen. I'm guessing Fifty Shades of Grey has a huge fan base. So yeah, most certainly women are watching the movie because of a certain Christian Grey. So yeah, they would probably buy the magazine and be intrigued to watch Chimera as well. Magazine number two, which is our last magazine, unfortunately. Um, you know, weirdly enough, people say that I look like Yuri Lama. I don't see it. <laughs> Leave a comment and tell me if you do. Um, okay, let's look at the first thing that you see when you look at the magazine. What I see is the word Chimera. It looks like it's been spray painted with red. Um, personally, I think it foreshadows that there will be blood or death in the movie. Really cool, I mean, if for sure links with the trailer, because at the end, you know, she's debating whether or not to kill her boyfriend. That is pretty cool. Jeremy, I think? Yeah. Um, I think it totally linked with it. You know, both of them are kind of teasing you and saying, you know what, someone's gonna die. Watch and find out who. Anyways, the text. You know what else is cool? When it says behind the scene videos. I mean, on the left hand side, we see access to the, yeah, behind the scene videos. On the left hand side, we see access to the behind the scenes. I flipped when I saw this because, like, I really like the characters, Jeremy and um, Veronica. Like, they're really intense. And I would just love to see their real personalities, like um, Yudin Lama and um, Durham. Durham. <laughs> so, you know, um, that's why most of the people would buy it because they want to know the real actors' personalities, you know? Um, anyways, also right underneath there it says Robert Downer, Robert Downey Jr. interview on set of Avengers. Have you guys seen Iron Man underneath his suit? Let me tell you, his face is the only reason why people are buying his magazines. Okay, maybe a bit of an exaggeration, but um, it for sure counts for something. He has a huge fan base, including me in it. So yeah, that's a big reason why people really want to buy his nothing go there <laughs> I don't know what you're asking of me <clears throat> okay another way that um, buyers would be attracted to by this magazine is when it says interview page 12 you know right underneath the movie title of course this is a good uh, tactic because you know as soon as I saw the magazine I was like I want to see the cover but then when I saw interview page 12 I was like I need to buy it and actually go through it this is why um, they probably did this because you know who doesn't want to know how they came up with the movie? He, who doesn't want to know what Yudin Lama and Durham think of the characters, you know? I'm sure it's all in it. Anyways, tagline. Let's talk about the tagline. This is my most favorite one. Loving him was the best form of self-destruction. Like, it's pretty intense because usually love is supposed to be a good thing, right? So I guess it, like, we start thinking, how was loving him so bad that it led to self-destruction? Why was the relationship so toxic in the first place? And what happened that she hit rock bottom? Like, there are so many questions and the trailer doesn't ease my curiosity. Like, at the end, as you see, we get a zoom in and it focuses on the knife while she's behind it and she's looking at it. It's like, really? They love cliffhangers, it's annoying. But anyways, even the dress of hers, like the color of her dress, which is um, black and white, yeah, it shows her personality because it's like white where she's innocent and black where it's her inner darker self so it's really cool even her body language in the poster don't know if you know noticed shows power like she is standing over him with her hand over his shoulder as if she's in control over him even in the it's relevant to the trailer as well because uh, we see parts of her 
where she's trying to be in control over him even though it might not work out that way like in the in the dinner scene where you know they're fighting and then she throws a glass of water at his face as though she's trying to just be in control over him and when that doesn't happen she kind of um throws a tantrum like breaks a glass and stuff so we see that she's not good when she's not in, in control yeah so, so sorry not sorry guys for such details because you know I love movies and I love analyzing when you put them together I am an unstoppable geek nevertheless all these small details really do matter the poster and magazine should link to the film they should you know should reveal tiny they should reveal tiny details of the movie um, they should tell you the genre of the film etc etc you get my point but anyways um, I see a very angry teacher walking towards us we should probably go bye guys love you comment and subscribe let's go